what is up we're back today i'm going to be talking about um the best season of each Fortnite chapter um and i got this video from tolu Fr tolu fries on his video um titled ranking every season of Fortnite. i was going to do a reaction video to the to that but it would be like in an hour long video and it's just like it's too much and i'll probably do my own ranking every Fortnite season um myself and i actually have very controversial takes so let's get started so for chapter one i chose uh season three now people are probably gonna be like be Probably people are going to be like, why? Now, this was actually very difficult because I really liked the end of chapter one because it was such like an epic theme. It was such like an epic and visceral feeling being in that event, the, f the finale event. But chapter three has to take the cake, although not the best. This was actually hard between the last season, season three and season four. Um, now, for, now, despite popular belief, probably, I did not start off OG. I actually, I believe I start, no, I did play in, in the season three, or at the end of season three. Um, I played most of season four. Season five is when I started buying the battle pass, um, every season, and, yeah, so, anyway, I digress. I chose Chapter 3 because it was the start of my favorite part of Fortnite, the story. I don't, I know that nowadays, uh, Fortnite's story is, dot, is dead, but it's not, e that's not even Fortnite's, it's not even our fault, it's not even Donald Mustard's fault, it's literally Fortnite's fault because they didn't focus on the storyline, but the storyline is, in my opinion, what gave Fortnite its bread and butter. Because I, I'd always... What made me passionate about Fortnite is actually um, the story behind everything. Like, when they started adding events, like, when people, when people at my school, at Heritage, at Heritage, which was my middle school, um... Everybody was talking about, oh, there's a meteor in the sky. Oh, the end is coming. And I was like, huh. Man, Fortnite's a lot more impactful than I thought it was. I thought that it was just a shoot 'em up game like Call of Duty. So that's why I was never really interested. And I actually hated Fortnite for a while because I just saw it as another Call of Duty ripoff. And also the fact that, you know, it, it was basically a ripoff of PUBG well, before all of, like, the, you know, all the stuff before, it was a ripoff of PUBG, because PUBG was popular, and then all of a sudden Epic Games came out with their game, even though Fortnite was in production longer, but it was completely different, and I also hated Fortnite at, at, at first, because Fortnite was supposed to be a zombie game. I'm sorry to break, to burst your bubble, everybody, but remember when Save the World, remember Save the World? Yeah, nobody plays. Nobody played Save the World, but oh, when B Battle Royale came out, oh, everybody flocked to that, and it's really unfortunate because now it's called Fortnite Battle Royale. It's not called Fortnite. It's it's literally like, ugh. I just I, it it even boils my my blood to this day that. Fortnite wasn't popular for its zombie mode, but it was popular for a secondary game mode, and people only know um, Battle Royale. It just really upsets me. Anyway, why chapter three, or what, sorry, why season three was my favorite, um, even though it's like a curse that season three always sucked. It was the start of the storyline. It was the start of my passion for for Fortnite's story. And yeah, 
and overall my rating for chapter for chapter one uh you can't hate it you cannot hate chapter one even though i dogpile on people who say that chapter one was peak it was not i'm sorry to burst your bubble it was not you also can't hate it you can't you can love it it's either you love it or it was okay in your opinion there's no way you can hate chapter one all right chapter two this one's going to be very very controversial and that is season seven and why it was my favorite is actually just nostalgia just purely nostalgia i remember waking i remember staying up late night for for this event i remember staying up um all night waiting for this season to roll around um and at that time i was actually just getting into tiktok and i actually met some pretty cool friends b cats um flamethrower there's a couple of others but those were the main the main two they are still my good friends even though don't talk to them very much we still every once in a while b cats will go live so you know then i'll hop on a game with her and yeah but season seven it was purely nostalgia based. I just remember I'm on a rose tinted glasses with this season. Just it was ugh, just seasons that the alien song that pissed off B cats so much. Um, and also just it got me into into liking aliens like I I do not like the aliens. I'm just like, OK, if aliens exist cool <laughs> doesn't really affect us much unless um what the media depicts is true that they're gonna kill us but if they wanted to kill us they would have done it a long time ago they have that type of technology they don't care <laughs> i'm gonna be honest guys aliens don't care but this guy i was intrigued with aliens in this season and also the krig skin bro the krig skin goaded you could customize basically everything about that character which unfortunately fortnite doesn't have much of that anymore and it's really sad because it's like that was my favorite part of that season there was also the fact that we had alien weapons uh the railgun wait was the railgun added that season yeah i think the railgun was added that season the railgun although mid it did it was pretty good uh, the laser gun and then the plasma cannon and also the end event for that season was just it was amazing I remember when I played with b-cats I actually had to go to my grandpa's one morning and I I could not sleep I had to play the season with my friends and so we just played and yeah Moving on to ch to chapter three, I don't remember much about this chapter. Um, I don't remember. Actually, I don't remember anything really. <laughs> Gonna be honest, um, I don't remember much. Oh wait, chapter. Ch let's let's do an overview. Of chapter two. Overall, chapter two, in my opinion, was peak Fortnite. Cause it cause it was like I don't know. It, it gave the feel of OG Fortnite, but also gave the feel of, like, a brand new start and stuff like that. It was also the, it was also the chapter that mainly touched on the storyline in a, in a good way. And you'll see my love for the storyline fade away. But yeah, chapter two, in my opinion, best chapter. And yeah. Chapter three. Okay, so chapter three, this one's going to be harder because... I don't remember much from it. Um, but I will say I probably really liked. Um, what's the one with the reality tree? The one where the reality tree first makes an appearance. That one's my favorite because it was like super purple and neon. Um, and just, it was just 
amazing. I did not like the chrome, however. I did not like the chrome stuff added to the game. But, you know, it's fine. It's whatever. Just, yeah. Overall, Chapter 3, I will say it is sad that Donald Mustard, this was his final season. It kind of pisses me off because it's like, Fortnite chose money over actual passion for fans. And it's like, yeah, you could say that they, they've done that before, but like, not as bad. Fortnite used to have passion with their events, and then just the fact that they 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 dropped a full-on person like they chose money and they chose freaking clicks more than they chose like actual passion and you can feel and see the passion being ripped from fortnite even without the storyline stuff just the gameplay overall um they just ha rehash the same weapons and give them tinier buffs and stuff nowadays and it's like where's the crazy weapons like like i feel like vivin would ha would would have benefited from like a i don't know radio gun or maybe um the nitro cannon like a nitro gun where like you could shoot nitro missiles at people like like this seat like season three of okay we're getting way off we're getting way ahead of ourselves but still you know what i'm trying to say chapter four in my opinion the most overhated season or chapter well other than chapter two but i think people are coming around to chapter two um but this is the most hated season and i can kind of get why but also i liked it my favorite chapter from this season has to be uh, the Eclipse season, um, which unfortunately was the final season. I liked the season because I liked the whole vampire feel. I liked the um, skins that came out, even though I hate mascot skins. Uh, we kept we got to keep Neon City, which I liked. Um, unfortunately, kinetic blades were taken away from us, which sad, but you know it makes sense. Though the summer event was not good. I, wait, was the summer event this season? I don't know, but anyway, I really liked this season. Um, this the bat skin just. Mm, Amazing, dude. Amazing. Overall, Chapter 4 was overhated. I liked the map design. I was surprised that my favorite POI, which was uh, the Stronghold one. <laughs> and it's, it's Steady Stronghold or something like that. Um, it was in the Winter Biome. I'm surprised that that didn't get taken away from me. Because I was glazing that area um kind of sad that no returning pois hap um showed up um and this was the chapter that killed fortnite in my opinion or killed any previous stuff just it it was sad dude it's sad to see the storyline get messed with and broken um but yeah, so this season or this chapter proved that Fortnite um, just doesn't have passion. Um, they didn't bring back any POIs. They even replaced Slurp. Like, they just full on reset everything. And even the end of chapter four. No, wait, there wasn't even a, there wasn't even an event. That's another thing. Is that there was hardly any events. Like chapter three was the the end of events. Um, we don't we never got an event until, um, the end of season OG, which that was just that was just a lackluster, um, thing. They basically had to do that for a collab with Eminem. I'm sorry to say it, but 
Um, you're, there's no way that you're going to sit here and tell me that the Eminem event was a good event. You're going to, you're not going to sit here and tell me that that wasn't just a cash grab for them. Because I think it's funny that there were so many seasons that could have benefited from a final event. But it never happened. But as soon as they got they got in contact with Eminem, they were like, Oh, event. Ooh, get this get get him an event. And it's just like, dude, it's it's sickening. Season OG. Um, I'm gonna rate this season, even though it and it's it is not a chapter. Um, I still feel like it's um something we need to talk about. I personally didn't play this season much. I did full I did um unlock every variation of skins. Um I did play it to the point where I got the battle pass completed which yeah. Um I thought that this is where this was going to prove I thought this was this was going to prove that Fortnite had passion for their game. Um and essentially um the entire season for how short it was, I did think that. I was like, finally, Fortnite's coming back. Uh, we're going to get an event, and there's going to be returning POIs. The Big Bang event happened, and we got Chapter 5. Oh, Chapter 5. Let's talk about you. In my opinion, people are way too harsh on this on this chapter. I get it. Chapter 4 was bad. <laughs> or it was lackluster. It was underwhelming. Um, but people need to chill out with this chapter. Like, chapter 1... Or, not chapter 1. Season 1, in my opinion, mid... pretty. It was okay. I liked it. Um, but it was, it was just okay. I'm getting used to the season in the map more often, but still. Um, the badges were ass. I'm sorry to say it, but, like, if you collect every medallion, it does not give you 100 shield. It gives you, what, um, 80 shield? Which, like, that's not how that should work. And also, it's, it's not worth grabbing all of the medallions because, um, essentially, um, people can spot you on the map. Wait, why am I reviewing the entire one, entire thing? So anyway, my favorite chapter, or <laughs> my favorite season has to be, okay, my favorite season has to be season two. And I know people are going to groan and be like, oh, really? But hear me out. I liked the god season. I like that we had a hellish landscape. Obviously, they couldn't do heaven and hell. They couldn't do Jesus, Jesus and the devil because people would get offended, which which is kind of stupid that they, that that would that could happen. But I understand why they didn't do the the actual like god. They just chose like Zeus and like the mythology, and I like this season. My favorite poi was probably Grimgate. The bosses weren't too hard. Like, I feel like the bosses were balanced out. Like, Cerberus was pretty easy to take down, which, you know, which that's how that should be. And also, and Hades, Hades was, like, the hardest to take down. Zeus was okay to, to take out. He, was, he still did some mighty damage, but, yeah. Then also chapter or not chapter season two also gave us my the best the best collab which is the villains we got the villains from my hero and they looked so good so good but yeah i will be making a video soon about ranking or talking about chapters about every chapter um, but I'm not going to talk about every season. That would just be ridiculous. That would be a, like an hour video. But anyway, uh, yeah, see you guys later.